This video is a quick guide to using correct algebraic notation. So when we work with algebra we have certain ways of writing things and everybody writes things in the same way so we all understand exactly what we mean. So as I just said we use particular notation for different calculations. So the first thing we do is we group letters together. So in algebra you commonly see letters representing variables or amounts that we don't know. So if I had something like a plus a plus a, I need to think to myself, well that means three lots of a. So you can see I have got one, two, three a's there all together. So that's three lots of a and lots of means multiply so instead I could write this as 3 times a so a plus a plus a is the same as 3 times a now actually we don't tend to just leave it as just 3 times a but we'll get onto that in a minute so if I had b plus b that actually means I've got 2 lots of b lots of means times so I could write that as 2 times b instead so b plus b is the same as 2 times b. Okay, We use indices or powers. So if I have a calculation like a times a, well when I multiply two numbers together that are the same, think about square numbers, 2 times 2 I could write as 2 squared. So a times a I'd write as a squared and I'd read it as a squared. So b times b times b you can see I've got one, two, three b's there all multiplied together so I'd write that as b cubed and I'd say b cubed. Now very very importantly a really common mistake that people make is rather than writing a times a is a squared they write a times a is 2a okay, and that's wrong because 2a means 2 lots of a it doesn't mean a squared okay so we could see up in the purple box I'd written here a plus a plus a means 3 lots of a that's 3 times a now something else that we tend to do in algebra is to remove multiplication signs and the only reason we do that is because x gets used quite a lot in algebra and we don't want to get our x's confused with multiplication signs so really what I've written there 3 times a I should have written as just 3a you can see that this multiplication symbol here has just disappeared so I should understand whenever I see 3a that that actually means 3 times a or 3 lots of a so similarly 5 times b should be written as 5b without the multiplication sign and that's exactly the same when I've got a pair of letters so if I had a times b that should really be written as ab without the multiplication sign and if I have 3 or 4 or more letters multiplied together I remove all the multiplication signs so a times b times c is just written as abc so whenever you see two letters together you should imagine there's a multiplication sign in the middle and whenever you see a number and a letter together you should imagine there's a multiplication sign in the middle and the final thing we tend to do is to write division using fraction notation so we can think of a half of something as being the same as divided by two now rather than write divided by two like that so a divided by two we use fraction notation so we'd write a divided by 2 you can see I've got the a directly over the 2 or I could write a half a these both mean exactly the same thing so in the same sort of idea b divided by 3 would be written as b over 3 using the fraction notation or a third of b and again b divided by 3 or b over 3 is the same as a third b it's important to remember that there's no actual calculations involved here we're not working anything out all this is is just a standard way of writing things so that we all understand exactly what we mean so when I write down 3a 
somebody who is in a different country, speaks a different language, will still understand that that means three lots of whatever A stands for. It's also really important that you learn these and that you can recognise them because knowing that 3A means 3 times A becomes really, really important in lots of other bits of algebra. If you found this helpful, you might want to check out some of my other algebra videos on my channel. Thanks for watching.